Hey everyone, it is time for a January slash birthday haul. I did celebrate my birthday on January the 5th, so I decided to celebrate the right way and just pick up products that I wanted, products that have been in my wish list, and then I just picked up random items here and there. So this is probably going to be the, the biggest haul for the next several months just because I'm really focusing on purchasing other products for my freelance kit so that's really where a lot of my money is going right now and these were obviously purchased throughout the month I don't need to tell you guys that it doesn't really matter okay so let's go ahead and get started and I will start with drugstore items first and then it'll be non drugstore items after that obviously so the first thing is a few skincare items or face products the first one is Maybelline baby skin this is the new instant pore eraser which I know you've seen all over YouTube I haven't tried it yet but I will try to remember to try it tomorrow and then maybe I'll keep you guys up, updated via Instagram and then I also purchased the physician's formula super CC plus cream and I think I will do a review maybe a demo on this within the next couple of weeks maybe within the next week we'll see it does have SPF 30 it has a whole lot of claims to it this has SPF 30 in it and it does have color correcting pigments and anti-aging properties. So again, more info to come, but I did purchase that. Then I also purchased the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I haven't used this in years and years, but I did want more of an everyday drugstore foundation just for those days where I don't need to look like super airbrushed or anything like that. So I'm gonna try this one right here. This one is the shade 240 Medium Beige and we'll see how that one works. Hopefully it works out fine. Next are lip products, and I did purchase the Chapstick in Cake Batter. This smells absolutely delicious. It smells exactly like cake batter. It smells so good. And honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of Chapstick, but I love the scent. I might give it to one of my kids, but I just couldn't pass it up because I hadn't seen these before. And I know a lot of people were finding like the Red Velvet and other flavors in this during like the holiday season, I think maybe even last year or the year before. And I've just never seen them. So I found this at Walgreens and picked it up. Then two new lipsticks from L'Oreal that I've talked about. I'm not going to swatch them because I've already swatched them in my Saturday standouts video. I will link those down below for you. But they are these right here. I do plan on going back and getting a couple more because I do have a CVS coupon. So this one is Purple Prelude. And then this one is Fuchsia Orchestra. The other one is from Maybelline. I haven't tried this yet. I've only swatched it. So this one is in 030 Raspberry Rhapsody. And I think this is the one that the model was wearing in a magazine advertisement. So it has the same applicator as the L'Oreal, kind of like very YSL-ish. And this one is, it looks a little bit more sheer, but very buildable. Okay, so this isn't the best swatch, but you can get an idea for the color. Um, there is Raspberry Rhapsody right there. Very true raspberry color. Okay, next I had to pick up the new Physicians Formula Blush. They do have blush and bronzers. They have four brunettes and four blondes. I passed everything else up. This is really the only one that I wanted. So it is the Powder Multicolored Custom Blush in Brunettes. And the packaging is super cute. It's pink, my favorite color. And the colors create more of like a peachy pink color, definitely more on the peach side. But it has some pink, some peach tones, some cream colors in there. And it's super, super soft. There's the swatch right there. And so, so pretty on the skin. I think this is going to look really, really nice, especially for spring and summer. So there it is right there. Hopefully you're picking up an accurate color of it. The last item that I picked up from the drugstore is a new mascara that I wanted to try, and it is the L'Oreal Power Volume 24 Hour. This is a waterproof um, mascara, and so it says it has collagen spheres plus mega brush. I have no idea what that means, but that's what it looks like, and the color I chose is Blackest Black. So if any of you have tried this, let me know what you think down below. I'm curious. I know mascara kind of varies from person to person, but I'm just curious to hear some thoughts. So that is it from the drugstore. Now I'll go ahead and get started with the non-drugstore items. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started with some online orders. And the first one is Becca was on Hot Look or Oat Look. And I made a purchase because I haven't really tried much from Becca. The only thing that I've tried from Becca is a really tiny sample of their primer, one of their primers, I think the Pore Perfecting. I'm not too sure. I've only tried it once um, and I just forget to use it. So I wanted to try more from this line. So I decided to pick up the Best of Becca set 
and it did come with five items in here I don't remember how much it was but it was very affordable and I figured it would be a great way for me to try like a little bit of everything so it came with a resurfacing primer which is this one right here and this is 40 milliliters 1.35 fluid ounces which of which is a very generous amount and then a shimmering skin perfecter which I'm excited to try because I've been really trying to find a really good illuminizer to add to the top of the cheekbones especially for summer and or mix in with the foundation so this came with a set the next one is the eye tint and it does on the back of the packaging I did open it and swatch this one and the next item when I got the package but it does say a semi sheer cream that tints lids with a soft wash of color this is extremely extremely sheer according to what I swatched so I think I'm gonna try this tomorrow I don't know if this is gonna be a hit for me I have a feeling I'm not gonna be a big fan of it but anyway this shade is in the shade Baroque and then the next item is the beach tint and then this one is in the shade grapefruit it says you can use it I think on eyes and cheeks I'm sorry, lips and cheeks, not eyes, lips and cheeks. So um, this one seemed a little bit more pigmented than the eye tint, we'll see. And then the last item is the Ultimate Mascara. And this one has, it says it has smudge proof tubing formula when applied from the root to tip. So, and it is a natural fiber bristle brush. Okay, the only other item that I picked up from Becca is the Mineral Powder Foundation. It's the Boudoir Skin Mineral Powder Foundation. It is 7.0 grams which when I took it out I expected it to be much larger but it does have a lot of product in there I like the packaging it's very futuristic the shade that I picked up is bliss I do have it on on top of the foundation today and so far I really like it so that's the color right there I did have to guess and do some research online and just kind of hope that this was the right color and I feel like I did really good and it is a good color for me so I'm not too sure if these are like older shades and now they've renamed them or what they did, but anyway, this shade is in Bliss and it matches me perfect. All right, another online order that I placed is Nordstrom and I love Nordstrom. It's always free shipping. They're very, very good with like returns or exchanges or customer services great except for like one girl who didn't seem pleased when I returned products last time at the counter but that's okay aside from her I've had no issues I did order the Tory Burch rollerball perfume this is 0.2 fluid ounces I smelled it in a magazine in one of those like little inserts and it smelled so good so I decided to get the small one and just made sure that it went well with my chemistry that I loved it as much as I remembered and I really really love this perfume so I'll put the notes right here or down below in the description box and the description as well or maybe I'll just put a link to Nordstrom how about that I will put a link to Nordstrom where you can directly see like the notes and all that other good stuff so this is what the packaging looks like let me make sure I'm showing you right yes so that is it right there and it just it smells so so good it smells delicious so anyway I ordered that then I also ordered the smaller size of the Lancome La Base Pro. I've heard great things about this and I just wanted to make sure that I liked it before investing in the full size. So it is the Perfecting Makeup Primer Soothing Effect and it is oil free. So this is 0.51 fluid ounces. It says it's for all skin types. I did try it today and so far I really like it but I've only worn this for probably the last three hours or so so it's not like a true genuine like obviously review or anything like that but so far I like it okay and then lastly from Nordstrom I ordered three makeup brushes to try for myself and they are the MAC 208 and it is a brow brush it's super super fine and precise and very very thin I did try this today and I really like it it's so skinny and so cute I love it and then I did order the MAC 239 this one is this one's been on my wish list for a really, really long time. So that's the MAC 239. This is a great brush for packing on color to the lid. And the next one and the last one is the MAC 286, which is a duo fiber tapered crease brush. So really, really good for placing color and blending it out. I did try this today and I really like this as well. So, so far, I haven't tried the 239, but I'm sure I'm gonna love it. So during the checkout, when you purchase 150 or more in beauty products, you get a free bag with filled with lots and lots of samples. So I'm not gonna go through that because there's 
they're, they were very, very generous with, generous with their samples, but a couple of makeup items, perfume, skincare stuff, hand creams, lots and lots of samples. So very, very pleased with that. So it came with a big, clear, kind of like a turquoise bag, and then it did have a smaller one inside as well. So you got two bags full, well, this one bag full of samples, and then an extra bag. So I thought that was a really, really good deal and just a very generous like gift with purchase. Okay, now let's move on to Sephora. And I picked up my birthday gift. It is the Makeup Forever Mascara and Lipstick. The mascara is the Smoky Extravagant, which I have not tried. And I don't think I'm gonna try it just yet because I'm using something else, but there it is. And then the lipstick is the Rouge Artist Natural in the shade N9. Super, super cute. I love this little lipstick. The color I don't feel is a color that I would wear very often it's very very much brown based but it's kind of like a i don't know kind of like a terracotta pink brown color very different from what i own but that's again that's probably because i don't really gravitate towards colors like this but i think it might be like really nice on the lips i'll try it out i'll post a picture on instagram this week maybe tomorrow sticking with the makeup forever theme i did pick up a, another lipstick which is this one right here and a lab shine diamond collection lip gloss i've never tried their lip glosses i did purchase a lipstick last year but when i came home i had another color that was way way too similar it was pretty much a dupe so i returned that one and this lipstick i did swatch in the store i thought it was so pretty and so unique from anything else i have and i put it on when i got home and i feel like it really emphasized the lines on my lips but the color is so pretty and when you put this lip gloss on top it's like though that whole emphasizing the lines goes away and it's so so pretty together like this lip combination is just gorgeous together now this lip gloss i also tried in the store on top of a coral lipstick and it just really brought out the coral i think because of the sheen and really fine shimmer in this lip gloss it just really enhances the lipsticks that i've tried with it so i'm not sure if i'm going to keep this i think so because i really like the two together maybe i'm just not used to the finish it's a very metallic frosty finish but again the color is so unique and so pretty so this is the rouge artist intense and in number 11 and it's kind of i'm going to see if i can find a description of the actual color and if i do i will put it right here as usual but i would say this is a very pink gold color with like some light plum in there it's so so pretty so let me show you this the swatch of that so here it is right there so that is 11 and then the lip gloss is the shade d14 and it is a kind of like a light to medium pink it has very very fine micro shimmer in there you can't feel it on the lips and it's gold so it's this and the color itself is not like very pigmented or opaque but it's lightly tinted and the shimmer in there I feel is what makes everything just pop and look so so beautiful so this is what it looks like let's see if you can pick up the shimmer so you can see it's super super fine and then it does have a lip brush as opposed to a doe foot and then I'll go ahead and swatch it right here and the gloss itself is not sticky at all it's very lightweight so I like that and I know it's not going to look like anything but you have to trust me on this this lip gloss mixed with coral and this color right here and I mixed it with a pink as well in the store so pretty so this is the lip gloss right there and of course that's the lipstick very very high shine finish and then I will swatch the lip gloss on top of the lipstick so you can see how pretty it is I'll actually do half of the lipstick swatch so you can see the difference hopefully you can pick it up because it's very very cold and gloomy here so this is with the lip gloss and this is without i don't know if you can tell but it is so so pretty all right a couple of other things from sephora i did 
choose another Marc Jacobs blush. This one is in 214 Promiscuous, and I chose this because it doesn't look too similar to anything else I own. I mean, I'm sure I might have something close, maybe in the same family, but I don't think I have a dupe for this. I'm not going to swatch this one just because I do want to post it on my blog, and you can see what it looks like on there. But this is the shade of Promiscuous. It is so, so pretty. I would say it's kind of like a red toned rose it's kind of like red but it's rose very very pretty it's a deep pink color so that is promiscuous the other item that i chose is i've talked about these powders before i love them i think they're totally worth the hype and i want i think every one of them for my freelance kit so this is the ambient lighting power from hourglass i do have the trio you've seen me show it in videos before that has i think like the shimmer kind of like pearl color and then a light bronze and then dim light which is my favorite i love 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 dim light and i feel like it makes such a difference on top of foundation so i started to I wanted to start purchasing these the fuller size and I started with ethereal light so ethereal light is going to be great as a highlight on darker skin tones deeper skin tones and great for a powder for very pale skin it's probably going to be great if you're like light to medium skin for setting the under eye area so this is ethereal light right there the the powder is very finely milled and it's very, very brightening. So again, I think it's gonna be versatile for very pale skin or great as a highlighter for deeper, darker skin tones. So there it is right there. Okay, the last item that I forgot about is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I tried this a long time ago and I didn't care for it. And then I tried it again, I got rematched because I had several shades that were wrong. And I really, really like this. Now it's not great if you have like a lot of breakouts or blemishes or acne scars post acne marks, anything like that. But it's it's a medium coverage, buildable to full, but it's definitely, I would say, a medium coverage foundation. So this is what it looks like. You guys have all seen it. My shade is 3.5 and I just, I really, really like it. So happy to have this. And that is it from Sephora. Now from Ulta, aside from some of the drugstore items I picked up, I also purchased the new Too Faced blush. This one is from the Spring Collection and it's the Sweetheart's Perfect flush brush no perfect flush blush there's no brush with this this is in the shade peach beach i knew i would get a lot of use out of this one especially during the summer it's a very nice peachy bronze color you have three shades in there you can use them individually if you wanted to i don't plan on doing that i plan on just like mixing all three colors together and getting that really nice peachy bronze color it's so so pretty but you do have i don't know if you're going to be able to tell it tell right here i think you can so you have a bronze color right here. It's kind of like a champagne bronze and then a pink and then a peach right here. So I'll swatch all of them together and that is what you get. It doesn't look like anything there, but swatched on the skin, it's so, so pretty. Let me make this a little bit larger so you can get an accurate, pretty good swatch. So let's see, I'm hoping that you can pick it up. It seems like it's getting darker and darker here. Anyway, really pretty. Just check it out if you have, if you see these and swatch it. It's just, it's really, really pretty. Okay, the last items for my haul are from MAC, and I have been wanting the MAC Emphasize for such a long time, so I decided to just give in and get it. So it's very similar to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. There is a slight difference. I think this is a little bit more yellow, beige -ish. So there's a slight difference between the two. So just an FYI, I'll probably take a picture of both of these, the Hourglass Powder and Ethereal Light and this one next to each other and post on an Instagram. But anyway, again, I'm gonna use it the same way as I use, I plan on using Ethereal Light. And then a Sheen Supreme lipstick that I thought would be perfect, especially since the color of the year is Radiant Orchid. This one is in the shade Zen Rose and it is a beautiful kind of like a pink fuchsia plum color it's a nice mix between the two and here is a swatch right here i'm going to do a very generous swatch so there it is right there and that again is the shade zen rose 
The last item is an eyeshadow that I wanted for a really long time. I actually bought it for my best friend a couple of years ago and I wanted to keep it. It's so pretty and I didn't. So of course I didn't. I gave it to her, but I have been wanting this shade for the last couple of years. So I thought, what's the big deal? Just order it. And I think the reason why I hesitated is because typically I like to order the MAC eyeshadows now in pan form. But since I wanted this color for so long, I just decided to go ahead and give in. So this one is in the shade Star Violet and it is a Velux Pearl. I don't even know if I could accurately describe it. It's kind of like a, let's see here. That's what it looks like, first of all. Kind of like a plummy copper, I would think. I mean, I'm sure it's not described like that, but I see like plum and then I see copper and I see pink and violet and I don't know. It's very, very pretty. So there it is right there. Okay, closer up. There you go. All right, so that will do it for my birthday haul. I hope that you enjoyed that. If there's anything new that you purchased that you're loving, let us know down below. Or if there's anything on your wish list that you can't wait to get your hands on, let me know as well down below in the comment section. As always, everything that I'm wearing on my face or my nails is going to be in the description box as well as where else you can find me in social media. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you came over from Cassie's channel, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to check my channel out and watch my videos. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you on Thursday. Bye.